Last time we spoke, I let you all in on a pretty sweet little life hack on RainbowTomatoesGarden.com. And it was cool and everything, but Dan's got a lot of tricks up his sleeve, so we've got something else to look into today. Let's Dean about it. So this is just an ordinary order I placed with Dan, but there's a super secret tin on the inside that I don't even know about. And that's because one of you bought it for me and told Dan to slip it in the box in the form of a Dean Graham. A Dean Graham is where you buy a couple tins for somebody who you already know shops at RTG, tell Dan who the recipient is, Dan goes through his roll of decks of addresses, goes, oh yeah, I got this guy's address, I'll throw this in with his next order. And then he'll notify the recipient, hey, you've got a Dean Graham coming your way, so get excited for your restock day. And then the recipient, you know, just places an order as they ordinarily would. And then they get a super secret prize inside in the form of a gift from a friend via Dean Graham. So now I'm going to crack this open and see what one of you guys sent me, because I don't even know. I think there's going to be like a little letter, maybe, just telling me, hey, jabroni, I bought you this. It's probably something weird, like some cod liver with jalapenos or something. That's what that's what y'all send me, the weird stuff. And uh, then I'm gonna eat it. Okay. Now I know what you guys are already thinking. Oh, d hey, didn't Matt just start filming at his desk like a couple weeks ago and now Jabroni is all of a sudden? Hmm, maybe uh, get your own ideas, pal. Maybe you think of your own unique filming methods. I'll have you know I was planning to do this already, okay? It, it's just a case of great minds think alike. It's not like I, you know, watch the guy's videos and just m take meticulous notes on like how to, how to copy him completely, all right? It's just coincidence. These are little little chocolate sardines. Okay. Okay, I see the Dean Graham. It has it has special paper. We'll do it. We'll do it last because that's what we're opening. What I get? What I get? Mackerel fillets. Which way do I situate this? Lenarval mackerel in olive oil. I'm surprised I got this because I'm not really a mackerel guy. Maybe this was me. Uh, trying to broaden my horizons. Oh, I see. I see what I'm doing here. I'm doing a deep dive on this brand, I bet. La Narvel. Yeah, mussels in Spanish sauce. Ah, squid in ink. If you're a longtime viewer, you'll know I had one, one squid incident on the show. No. And it didn't go well. Oh. So, you know. Here's hoping. Sardines in olive oil. Wow. I think I just got this because it has like a really cool like newspaper vibe. It's like a little milk carton. Oh, this is a way you mar. This is a way you mar tin, boys. There's no light up here. It's way back here. No light. Light. Yeah, man. Here's the uh, here's the Dean Graham custom Dean Graham uh, wrapping paper. Drum roll. Oh, this is a massive tin. Let's get a good explanation. I should have knew it would be Deeny Deeny Deans. I need you to Dean about these. Cheers. Full Dean disclosure. I sent a tin to Maddie C too. That's okay. I'm I'm behind on everything. I'm not. It's, this isn't new information. I fully expect to be behind on all things. Ola Sagasti anchovies a la basque. Fresh anchovies from the Cantabrian Sea, cooked in olive oil with garlic and cayenne pepper, old Basque country style. All right, Deeny Deeny Deans, I accept your Dean about it request. This is a honkin' tin, honkin' tin of dudes. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, slipping. Well, I'm covered in oil. Right away, I gotta say, a little stinky. Some stinky guys. What kind of oil is this? It's very viscous. Olive oil. It's a very viscous olive oil. Wow. The garlic is like out of this world. That's out of this world garlic. In a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> Very powerful garlic. Yeah, the cayenne's coming through a little bit, but it's like, in terms of flavor distribution, it's like 85% garlic. 15. Cayenne. Yeah. So these are very flavorful. From the Basquet style sauce. Olive oil sauce. In terms of fish quality, not the best anchovies I've had. The, uh, I think the Patagonias overshadow these quite a bit in terms of, like, sardine-style anchovies. Really good sauce, though. Yeah. I'm, I'm a big garlic guy. We get garlic at Costco, you know? We stock up. It's going in everything. So this is a little bit right up my alley in terms of, uh, Sausitude. Fishitude. Eh. I mean, I'm snobby, you know? So, let's be real. In the grand scheme, this is excellent quality fish. I don't know, man. I guess I'm jaded. Maybe I need to get grounded. I need to come back down to earth. I just finished Obi-Wan. So I figured I'd pull out the lightsaber sticks. No spoilers, but... Man, that scene, that fight, it moved me. That, you know, you can see his face a little. Dude, I almost was in tears. It's been like 20 something years since I first saw those dudes fight. And now it's like a dramatic conclusion. I couldn't hold I couldn't hold back my emotions. Yeah. That's a good 10. That's a good 10, Deanie Deans. Thanks, bro. Take it easy. Bye-bye.